Hi, just a short video to talk about the Autism Rocks uh, Prince Tribute concerts that took place last weekend, uh, June 24th and 25th. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing experience and amazing night. I just want a quick review to talk about it. Um, as you probably know, Prince has been doing some private gigs for Autism Rocks for the last couple of years, and indeed, he's in talks to do three this year. I think uh, one in London, one in Dubai, and one at Paisley Park after the summer. No, unfortunately not going to happen so I've been waiting since Prince passed I've been waiting for the right tribute I could go to the, something that was going to be really special and I really wanted to do something that was going to involve something to do with Prince people who work with him and what have you so when this came up what an opportunity Morris Day and the time Larry Graham I mean if you're going to go to a tribute you want to spend it with uh, people who are new and closest and worked with him and uh, and also supporting a fantastic charity at the same time so yeah perfect yeah, really good so i managed to get tickets and go to last saturday night's concert what an amazing night what an amazing night a great great experience and uh everywhere inside the uh, apollo um hamsmith apollo it was all sort of lit up in purple lovely purple lighting inside creating a great atmosphere it was brilliant and all the prince army came out and was there and it was a great, great, great time. Um, things started off with an uh, introduction from the organisers and the founders of the charity, talking about the charity Autism Rocks and autism itself and why Prince was involved. Prince, in fact, has said himself that he, he believed that he was on the spectrum, autistic spectrum, at somewhere himself. So uh, it was important to him and that's why he came and did the shows. So uh, yeah, so there was a little sort of talk about that. Everybody listened nice and quiet. It was lovely. And um, then it was on with the show. First out was uh, Larry Graham and Graham Central Station. And uh, what can you say about Larry Graham? Uh, I've only seen him once before. He was supporting Prince uh, Wembley Arena in 1998. And my last in memory of that was him doing this crazy bass solo that just went on and on. And he kept appearing in different parts of the arena. He'd pop out over here and then up there and down there and all the while doing the same solo. <laughs> I was like, God, oh, this is mad. So uh, I knew what to expect and uh, on he came with his trademark hat with the feather and famous bass and uh, he covered a few print songs. Obviously, I think they did the most and it was um, nothing compares to Purple Rain, Baby I'm a Star, just to name some. Um, highlight was uh, Higher, I love that. One of my favourite performances from Raven to the year 2000 uh, live DVD was that. I was high, higher, I loved that. And being in the crowd, everybody going, higher, boom, chugga, laka, laka, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I love that bass line. So that was a great moment being part of that after watching it so many times on the DVD. That was really great. Um, and it was also emotional, Purple Rain. Um, and I'd done okay, actually during that performance uh, until the very, very end. And then I uh, got slightly overcome by emotion then. And I think it was, it's the bit at the end, you know, when everyone's taking part, you know, the woo -hoo -hoo part, and it had done the first bit, and then it was on the second part. And then uh, it was getting near the end. I don't know if it was a, a thing thinking, well, this is it. You know, is, is this the last time I'm gonna hear this like that? Because obviously Larry Graham and Payne have been Prince for so many years the arrangement and the sound of it was just like Prince would do it being in with the crowd everybody singing it and uh, it got right near the end and I just uh, looked up to the ceiling I put my hands up and just said love you Prince and uh, it was just a moment just washing it all over and I think all the times I've heard Purple Rain Prince play it live were just going through my mind and remembering all those times and then the, just the tears came and that was that was the moment that really got me uh, yeah it was a special moment uh, an emotional moment uh, it's funny with certain songs you do I didn't think it would be that song that got me uh, after Prince died there's so many songs so many and, and it's weird that you think some of the most popular ones you've heard a billion times and why it now affects you like that but you don't it's funny you don't kind of um you don't choose the song, it kind of chooses you when something like that happens and now it's forever going to be linked to that. So uh, anyway, so yeah, that was that. And um, 
so after uh, Larry Graham, it was on to CeeLo Green. And I have to admit, I'm not a CeeLo Green fan, so to speak. I don't have any of his albums or anything, but he gave a really great performance and was solid. His voice was fantastic. He was full of energy. Uh, he did really well. Again, there were Prince songs in there. There was, uh, I think, I Feel For You, Diamonds and Pearls, uh, Beautiful Ones, which is a brave choice. And obviously mixed in with his own songs, as everybody knows, it was really good. Um, he finished strong with uh, Crazy and Girl Like You, and so that was really great, and everybody loved that. And then uh, obviously after that, it was Morris Day and the Time. Well, I think most people were there for this. Um, I know it was one of the big draws to finally be able to see Morris Day and the Time. Uh, it was amazing, it was amazing. And before they came on, they had a video, it was a clock ticking down and a bell ringing and there were images of Morris and Prince and clips from Purple Rain and Graffiti Bridge that were building up and then they started intro of 1999 when they came on and then they were just fantastic, they were fantastic, all the dance moves were still there and everything, um, it was a shame Jerome wasn't there, um, I think I didn't realise, I didn't know why he wasn't there at the time and then obviously the next day I saw him on the Vet tribute uh, with Sheila E so maybe that was why he was there. Uh, but whatever, um, it was just fantastic. And one of the great bits was to hear um, Gigolos Get Lonely Too. I love that song. Always love that song. I've got a What Time Is It album, and that was a great moment to hear that live. And then uh, Morris Day as well, being funny, uh, talking about sweating so much. Going, why, you're probably thinking, why is Morris Day sweating so much? Is he past it? Is he, is he not cool anymore? And then he says, well, what happens when you get a bottle of champagne out of the fridge? You know, it's... Uh, it condensates because it's cool on the inside. You know, Morris Day doesn't sweat, he condensates because he's cool from the inside out. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was really good. I love that moment. And then uh, obviously the bird and the jungle love. Fantastic. I mean, when you, you go to see certain artists for a moment, for, uh, you know, you might, you might have gone to see Prince because you want to hear Purple Rain. You might have gone to see Michael Jackson because you want to see Billie Jean, whatever it is. There's a moment that you yeah, go to a concert for, and with the time, it's obviously you got, it's the bird. I And I did tweet after, so I'm striking off my list now, I've done the bird at a time concert. <laughs> it's off the bucket list. And I went fully fledged doing the bird. <laughs> I was loving it. And just for that moment, because I was on the front stool, on the floor, you know, it was almost like, you know, a moment being in Purple Rain, being in First Avenue. And uh, watching the time up there and everybody dancing together and doing it. It's fantastic. It was brilliant. I really, really loved that. I got right into that. So I did the bird with gusto. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, they finished Jungle Love. Uh, brilliant. Another brilliant track. They uh, really, really good. So they were fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, well worth it. And then uh, finished off with uh, Mark Ronson doing a DJ set. Uh, he did about 45 minutes, I think. And... Uh, Lots of Prince songs mixed in with club anthems and some of his own tracks, obviously. Again, that was fantastic. All the Prince fans just, just dancing away like a giant club. You know, I can imagine it was what Paisley Park would have been like on one of those nights. You know, kind of like that. It was fantastic. It was a great atmosphere. It was so good. I mean, the whole thing was almost four hours. So, you know, four hours of live music, uh, you know, £35. Pounds, you know, all going to a fantastic charity. What a night. What a night. It was an amazing experience, really, really good, uh, really loved it, and what a great tribute to Prince, and something I really was glad I was able to go to, so fantastic. Uh, and that was my review. Thanks for watching.
Tennessee. Thank <laughs> you.